we need more engineers in the workforce and the manufacturing sector cannot be phased out or our economy will be for the worse. That was the message presidential candidate Dr. Tony Tan had at the end of a dialogue with members from the manufacturing industry on Friday. With more options for Singaporeans in the financial service, in the life sciences, not, not enough people are going to engineering. And without good engineers and technical personnel, uh, our manufacturing companies cannot keep up the uh, quality. I regard engineering as a key pillar of our Singapore economy. I don't think that, I think it will be a grave mistake to try and phase manufacturing out. We will suffer for it. Our economy will be less resilient, less diversified. Uh, there will be few options for our young, for our young people, and Singapore will lose. Uh, we should always keep manufacturing as a strong, thriving, uh, and essential part and pillar of the Singapore economy. Speaking to reporters after a dialogue with 100 members of the Singapore Manufacturers Association, Dr. Tan touched on the importance of branding, using Apple as an example. I find it really amazing <coughs> that a company like Apple today has a market capitalization which is larger than that of Exxon uh, Mobil. Exxon Mobil, you can understand why it's so large. It deals with production of oil, which is what is needed. But Apple is a brand, essentially. I mean, they produce iPods, iPhones, and iPads. Other people do the same. And yet, because Steve Jobs has been able to market Apple products, not as technology products, but as lifestyle and design products, he's cornered the whole market. Uh, he's able to sell things to people which they don't know that they need until he produces them, then they can't get enough of them. I think that's a wonderful position. It's all done through innovation and, of course, uh, imagination. Earlier on Friday, Dr. Tan had collected his Certificate of Eligibility at the Elections Department. He expressed confidence that Singaporeans will make the right choice in voting their president. I'm confident that Singaporeans will make an informed choice in these difficult times on who, on August the 27th, will be best able to execute the custodial responsibilities of the President and his other very important responsibilities over the next six years, given the opportunity to be the president, I will work with the government, with all political parties and with civil society to bind Singaporeans together, help to rally them to overcome this crisis, so as to give Singapore and Singaporeans confidence for the future. Keep watching Razor TV for more coverage on the presidential race.